Reds hosting the Cubs, and the Cubs are minus 126 on the money line. The Reds are plus 108. The over-under is 10 runs. The Cubs, laying a run and a half on the run line, are plus 122, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win this game by two. And the Reds, getting a run and a half on the run line, are minus 146, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Now, when I make these picks, they're going to be based off of the pitchers that you see there. I have seen Williamson as an option for the Reds as well, but it looks like they're going with Spears. Now, Talion pitched twice against the Reds this year. Four and two-thirds, four runs, four earned. They lost that game eight to five, and he struck out five. Five innings, two runs, two earned. They won that game five to three, and he also struck out five in that game. The Cubs are 2-3 and three as a team in his last five starts. He's averaging five and a third innings pitched and 4.8 strikeouts per game in those games. The under is 3-2 and two in his last five starts. He's got an ERA of four, and I believe I said he's averaging five and a third innings pitched with 4.8 strikeouts, but if I did not, that's what he's doing in his last five. His last outing, four earned runs, six strikeouts, two home runs, 99 pitches. Four earned runs, six strikeouts, one home run, 99 pitches. Two earned runs, three strikeouts, one home run, 91 pitches. Eight earned runs, two strikeouts, one home run, 89 pitches. Two earned runs, seven strikeouts, one home run, 96 pitches. He's averaging 94.5, 94.8 pitches per game in his last five. But the home runs are well, what's a tad bit alarming to me. He's given up at least one in every one of his last five starts. Now, if it is Spears or Spear, he didn't pitch against the Cubs last year or this year I believe this will be his first career start so there is no how he's done in his last handful of starts because there is no information head to head the home team's on a two game winning streak the home team is five and five the Reds are six and four against the Cubs in their last ten the Reds are on a two game winning streak the underdog is on a two game winning streak the underdog is six and four on the money line the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is six and four they have been one two, three, one run games in their last 10, including the last two that they've played against each other. The under has hit in their last four games, although the over is six and four in their last 10. And the over under at 10 is five and five in their last 10 games. And the weather for tomorrow is supposed to be sunny with the wind blowing out anywhere between seven and eight miles per hour. Now, head-to-head, -head, the games they played today, the Reds won 2-1. to one. The game they played yesterday, they won 3-2. to two. And then the four previous games to that, the Cubs won 6-2, 5-3, 16-6, and 20-9. The Cubs are 6-4 in their last 10, 2-2 two two in their last four. The under has hit in their last two, four, six games, and the under is 7-3 in their last 10. They're on a two-game losing streak. Beating the Brewers 3-2, beating the Reds 6-2, and then losing 3-2 and 2-1 two to, one to the Reds. For the Reds, they're four and six in their last ten, three and one in their last four, and the under is eight and two in their last ten games. The under has hit in two, four, six, seven, their last seven games straight. Beating the Giants four to one, losing to the Cubs six to two, and then beating them three two and two to one. If it's Spear and not Williamson, I gotta just give the edge to the the Cubs. I understand Tally and struggling right now, but I don't know. I'm gonna take the Cubs with the money line, the Cubs getting the runs, and the under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.